One of the key things with invisible layers is I don't want to cut too much shorter in the crown area. One way to make sure that you don't do that is to separate the crown from the rest of the length of the hair. If I'm cutting the left hand side, I'm going to start by standing on the right hand side. I'm going to work diagonal all the way up the head shape, just shifting slightly till I end up horizontal. We take our first diagonal parting, a little piece of the pie here. So I pinch this in my hand. I'm going to take my scissor and I'm going to half close and just slide and glide through. And this is the uh, FSE Precision Scissor. Been using this scissor now for over a year. I've talked about it a lot. So now, because of the, the triangle shape, the pinching of the hair, you get sort of like a, an expanded separation on the layering and a little extra depth in the cut. So here we go, another triangular shape. So now I comb it down, pinch it, start working about that mid shaft area, half closing as I slide down the hair. Working a little more towards that horizontal, pull it down, pinch it into my hand. Doesn't have to be perfect around the mid shaft. Slide, cut through. Now wherever you're cutting is going to be the shortest point. So when I over direct each of these pieces over, the longest piece that I'm cutting will be what's reaching into the center. The center piece will be the shortest, which is going to create that depth and movement within the haircut. Love the way that pops and looks. It's got that depth, the movement in there, and the crown will come over top of the rest. If you wanted to, you could pinch this together and cut it as well. But what I'll do is just kind of layer it softly over top, blending the crown into the rest. So you'll see kind of where those invisible layers are. That's not where I want to cut it. I want to come up here and just clean off these ends. We've cleaned up that crown, got a nice layered haircut, but there's a lot of movement going on on the inside of that. Now I wanna cut just the baseline perimeter, but I'll just come through. In the front of the head, we're gonna do some invisible layering throughout the side of the head. I've talked about this before in a face frame, but I don't wanna come straight up over top of the head and cut it like that, because that'll give me too uh, balanced of layering throughout here. I want the layering to kind of uh, ascend into the back or de descend into the back. So I comb the hair up like this over top of the forehead. I'm going to, this is condensed cutting. So I'm going to cut a line across the top. So now I've got my line, but no invisible layers yet. The way that I'm going to create some invisible layering is by elevating this up and coming inside and cutting into it just like this. I'll recomb that, see all that hair that comes out. And if I see, a good amount of spacing in there, that works for me. Now I've got a slight little face frame and also invisible layers. The front might be a little bit longer than the back at this point. We haven't cut the baseline yet. 